if you have your cleaner hooked up to the side port, chances are you have a newer pool and you have a skimmer with a float assembly, valve, or equalizer assembly that controls the main drain. And I'll show you how to disable the main drain in a newer pool. So if you have a newer pool, you won't have a main drain valve. It'll just be the float assembly or the equalizer assembly that controls the main drain. Then there will be no valve to turn to turn it off. You just remove that from the skimmer and that effectively turns off the main drain. In that case, normally your main drain is activated by a float assembly or equalizing assembly. It looks something like this. And it will kind of suck some from the main drain and some from the skimmer. If your water runs low, it'll collapse completely and suck from the main drain. So to deactivate the main drain, you simply take it out of your pool and put the skimmer basket back in. Just make sure your water level stays good. You don't want your pump burning out. So simply by removing it from the skimmer, you've deactivated the main drain and your cleaner won't get stuck. So if you do take the float assembly out on a newer pool with a side port, just adjust the side port to reduce the cleaner suction. And with that said, I really don't have a lot of issues with cleaners getting stuck on the main drain in the newer pools. It's generally an older pool that has that problem. And here's another old pool with a single diverter in there, and the main drain is off. If you have an old skimmer, you may have a one, you may have a diverter like this and a single pipe going into your skimmer. And to simply turn it until you turn off the main drain one direction, you may need to get a threaded one also. They do sell them. The thread in there, that way it won't pop out. And so if you're able to, most, in most cases you can turn the main drain off. In this pool I use a VacMate. Um, it's a product that is a skimmer insert. I have a video on it actually. And there's actually a basket under there. And you can actually adjust the suction here. It gives you a little more adjustment than the regular uh, diverter that comes with the cleaner. And this seems to be effective in this pool to lower the suction enough for the cleaner to work properly. I'll show you it working. Again, you can adjust it to any uh, opening. This one here is on full. You'll, I'll show you the cleaner when it's open to full. That way you, you can see that it's actually working fine. And you can see this G2 is working good in here. Um, it's uh, moving at the right pace. So the vacuum it works well in this particular pool. You have your spa attached to your pool like in this case there's another way you can actually reduce the skimmer suction i'll go through that right now what i've done at this pool is i've actually um, put some of the suction to the spa by turning the valve at a slight angle here giving the spa about 25 percent of the suction and at the same time i'm also increasing the return to the spa that way it's not running low so that's a good little trick, you can actually use the spa suction to equalize the skimmer and that way the cleaner works fine in the pool. And in most cases when you turn the main drain off, the skimmer will produce too much suction. Even if it has a skimmer diverter in here already, it's still going to produce too much suction for the cleaner. And that's why you're going to have to add the flow keeper valve on the hose leading out of the skimmer to kind of lower the suction again. So it's basically like having two skimmer diverters hooked up to your pool to give it, uh, give the cleaner less suction. Now, if this was on, the cleaner would get stuck on the main drain, so I have it off. And I have the full suction now coming from the skimmer. And that's the reason why I have that flow keeper valve on there, because it'll be too much suction then and the cleaner will not move properly. It'll just stay in one spot because the suction will be just tremendous. So I had the main drain off. I had that flow keeper valve. I'm going to turn it on. You can see how it works. This is from the Zodiac Cleaner. You can order it online or get it out of your pool store. It's called the flow keeper valve. And the good thing about this one is you can put it in your pool like this. It'll open up on the bottom and divert some of the suction. 
and it sits in there like this. You just want to make sure that when you put it in there, this bottom part is in the water because it's going to be sucking air if not. And I'll show you how this one works effectively. And the first thing you're going to notice is an arrow on the device itself. Make sure that's pointed towards your skimmer. And you can see now the creepy is moving on the bottom pretty good. And I've got this here. You can see that if I turn slightly to the side, you can actually see that this is engaged, diverting some of the suction. I'll pull it off. You can see what happens when this is not on here. Okay, so I've taken that flow keeper off. You can see now that the suction is just pretty tremendous on the creepy crawly. You can see that it's not going to be able to move effectively. So I'm going to go ahead and reattach this valve so that the cleaner can actually move properly in the pool. So I got that back on. You can actually see the cleaner moving at a good speed. I'll get a little closer so you can see it. And that's how the creepy should be moving. And occasionally this will gurgle a little bit as a little bit of air gets sucked in there. But it's not going to cause any harm. This one's been on this pool for about two years now. And it's very effective in keeping this creepy moving. And I'm able to turn the main drain completely off. You're also going to need a 3 inch female to female connector hose to go with this so that it connects properly to the canister if you have one. If not, you can hook it directly into the hose 